Hello, it's Zinjo. Are you a recent purchaser of a MacBook? Because every editor under the sun is getting a MacBook right now. And as soon as you open it up, you realize, oh no, I'm not familiar with this computer at all. Don't worry, I was in the same position about three weeks ago when I didn't even know how to download Twitch VODs. It didn't really seem like there was any good tutorials online about how to download Twitch VODs on Mac. It was all kind of spread across GitHub. Even though it looks a little bit intimidating to get into, it's actually very simple once you get the hang of it. Uh, I'm making this as a total beginner. I, uh, this is the first MacBook I've ever owned, the first Apple product I've ever owned. So I'll definitely be giving beginner advice, hopefully not making too many assumptions about what you know, because I didn't know anything. But it also means that if something goes wrong on your end, uh, you can leave a comment and I'll try to help, but it probably won't be much better than looking online. Okay, with that sorted, there are three things that you will need for this tutorial. Uh, you will need homebrew software, you will need FFmpeg, and you will need the Twitch downloader CLI. You might be familiar with Twitch downloader anyway, because it's a pretty common way to download Twitch VODs and also Twitch chat, which is what I've used it for in the past. I'm gonna tell you how to do that as well, but for Mac, they don't have a user interface. So the reason that I say it looks a little bit intimidating is because we have to do it all through the terminal, which is basically the command prompt, but for Mac. You can see here, I uninstalled Homebrew, so I'm starting with an absolutely, basically as fresh as it can be computer. But luckily, Homebrew is one of the easiest things in the world to install, so we'll get started with that. So the first link in the description should be for this site and right here is a command uh, that you basically just copy with this and put it in the terminal and you're ready to go it'll install homebrew all on its own like a package so in case it wasn't obvious go to the search at the top look up terminal we'll get a fresh one we'll paste that command that i just copied and hit enter uh, you'll need to enter your password to your computer and then enter to keep going there we go, it's doing its thing. And then when you've installed Homebrew, it'll give you this line to copy. Uh, now this is a mistake I made, which totally stumped me the first time I downloaded Homebrew. Uh, I thought that when it says run these two commands, it means run this one and then run this one. It actually just means copy the whole thing, paste it, and then this should work as expected to install Homebrew. All right, let's just check. I'm not sure if that one went through. Yeah, it looks like I did brew help, and that means the installation was successful. I now have homebrew on this computer very easily. Now, the next thing we'll need is FFmpeg. FFmpeg is, to my understanding, a software which does a lot for installing and converting videos. It also is incredibly simple, and it's why I got you to install homebrew, because you just type this in, brew install FFmpeg. So I'll go back to the terminal, brew install FFmpeg. There we go, it's downloading. Now, while I'm waiting for it to install, I will say that I've heard that it's possible to download YouTube videos as well through FFmpeg. Uh, however, from my research, it seems like YouTube likes to take down videos that tell you how to download YouTube videos as it's some kind of breach by downloading their software, I don't really know. I don't actually know how to download YouTube videos off of FFmpeg uh, through the terminal, but if anyone who I don't know in the pinned comment can like direct people to the software that allows you to do that in a very similar way, uh, go for it, I can't stop you. We're nearing the end here, looks like it. Uh, there we go, looks like we got FFmpeg in there. We'll just do a quick test by typing FFmpeg. Oh, there we go, and that is the version that it's on. This is just a necessary software to get to run Twitch Downloader. Speaking of, let's download that. It's slightly more complicated, but not too bad. Now, the third link in the description, if I'm counting right, will be a link directly to the Mac OS download for Twitch Downloader CLI, which is the non-user interface version that runs on Mac. I'm giving this tutorial with the assumption that you're on a Silicon M series processor, which is like the M1, M2, the pros. Uh, to my understanding, those already have the ARM64 binary. Looking at stuff like this, it looks like this is just what the computer already has. Now, as the tutorial says, you're going to go to the releases page for Twitch Downloader. Grab this ARM64 Twitch Downloader for Mac OS. That'll be a zip file. One good thing about Macs is you can just double click and they'll unzip it. Now, after extracting, we are going to go back to the terminal. I will actually see if I can clear this, get a fresh slate. Now, I have Twitch Downloader CLI, the application just in my downloads folder. Uh, we need to set the command directory of the terminal to the downloads folder or wherever you have Twitch Downloader. You can just do that by doing CD 
and then I'm doing DO, hitting tab, and boom, we're in the downloads, as you can see here. To check that I'm getting this right, you have to give executable rights to Twitch Downloader. Now, this didn't work the first time I did it. Um, a lot of things that I found with Mac are intuitive if you're thinking laterally. If I double click it, it says that Twitch Downloader cannot be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. And you might be thinking, well, it's my damn computer. I install it. I want to open it. And it doesn't really look like there's anything here that tells you how to open it. Uh, what you actually have to do, weirdly enough, for all applications that you download from the internet that Apple doesn't deem worthy is the double finger click and then open. Now, all of a sudden, you have the option to open the folder, I guess, because it's more of a like conscious click. But this is how you give Twitch Downloader CLI permissions. You just open this. It just runs this really quickly. And now all commands with Twitch Downloader start with dot slash. So if we just do really quickly, dot slash TW. And remember it's case sensitive, so it has to be a capital T. Tab, and then help. There we go. We can see that Twitch Downloader CLI is successfully downloaded because it knows what uh, program I'm talking about. If you're not into hearing me talk anymore, that is completely fair enough. On the Twitch Downloader CLI GitHub, I'll add this specific link to the readme in the description as well. But this readme has all of the commands that you will ever use in uh, the Mac terminal. So if you want to figure it out on your own, that is fair enough. I'm just going to download a couple things so you can kind of get a feel for how it works. Because it's really simple once you get into it. A good way to understand how things work is in the readme going to the example commands at the bottom. So first of all, to pick the, the VOD that you will want, you will need the VOD's ID. The part of the VOD that's the ID is this part of the link, these numbers at the end. So I'll just copy that and now I have the ID in my clipboard. We'll go back to the terminal and we'll go dot slash T tab. Now we're in Twitch downloader. We want to download the video. Weirdly enough, you can't tab this one or it messes up. Uh, dash dash ID space and then paste the ID. Do minus O, that's the output. We want it to be called test.mp4. Now this is the most basic command. If you just write this out with whatever ID you want, you have the name that you want, hit enter, it will start downloading the whole VOD. What if I don't want to download the whole VOD? I just have a portion that I want to download. Well, fortunately, all of these commands are just extra things that you can add to clarify what you want in the download. So for example, if we go back to the terminal, I'm going to do slash B for beginning uh, and then do a hour, minute, seconds time code. And I'm going to start at 000, zero, zero and then slash E for the ending 000, zero, zero, and then we'll go 15 seconds in. And we already have the output here. So if I hit enter, this has started the downloading process. And because I can now type again, it should be done. Let's just check the final. There we go. It's all downloaded. Uh, this tutorial is getting a little bit long to include the chat part, so I'm just putting it in an unlisted link in the description. Also, I really recommend Shutter Encoder. It's a super good transcoder of like all codecs and file formats, and it works on Mac. It looks a little bit weird going into the terminal every time, but I promise it gets very flowy, and it's quite easy, and actually very fast as a download. Uh, so I hope this was helpful. Bye.